All right. So that's the morning of day 16. Just moving things around. See, there's still some bruising around the side here. The swelling is manageable. Of course, I'd love for it all to be gone, but it's going to take its time. I get a weird sensation around my patellar tendon. Not pain so much, but when I'm doing this, as tension goes through it, it feels kind of like... Uh, there's a dip in it, and you can see a dip there, but um, like it's falling down, if that makes sense. But it doesn't hurt to get here, and you can see I'm probably about 90 degrees. I can go past that, but I was told not to really push it, so I'm not pushing it. I have as much flexion as they want me to get. I've taken to doing some of these in the morning and, and at night. In the morning to kind of wake things up, and at night actually to relax things so they don't hurt as badly. Because I do get a lot of pain at the end of the day. And uh, I'm going to wrap it back up, grab my crutch over there, and start my day. Um, also, I have, I can more readily push into extension, extension, <laughs> it's extension there. Um, it's still not like my other, my other leg. Because my full extension is past straight. I hyperextend a little bit, naturally. So that's going to take some time to get back. You can see... I can tr I can contract my quad. Things kind of redistributing here, so I sometimes will practice this, just trying to make sure that I keep the amount of extension I have. I feel like the rest of it won't come back until the fluid's almost always almost completely gone. That swelling interferes with my ability to finish extending my knee. It interferes with a lot of stuff, but that's part of it. Scars themselves. Everything's still numb on this side. I'm not pushing right on the scar. Uh, but I was told I can do a little point massaging. Kind of move other stuff around on the sides of it. We do want scar tissue right along the line. But then we don't want that scar tissue, I guess, to infiltrate adjacent areas. So... It's not too painful, but obviously I don't want to go nuts on it. I still get a lot of itching that'll flare up sometimes, and I'll just kind of massage the area to work on that. Okay, so there you go.